Hi. Hello. Um, did you know each other um, before he joined the band? Um, briefly met him briefly. before. Chad knew him better than I did. Okay. He was too shy. To yeah, talk I was very to me. shy. He's a very shy guy. Shy slash stuck up, probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I knew. Uh, we, I played with them once in uh, 90, 1999. I was in a band, and they we played a club together for about 500 people, and we opened up for them. And what was your band called then? Uh, they're called New Big Shoes. New Big Shoes. Yes. See, I thought it was called Big New Shoes. No, you got you're, it. You're you, right. You and everyone got it wrong. You're right. I'm right. I'm wrong. It was a local band, Vancouver. Nothing really happened with it. Yeah. I watched them, jealous, green with jealousy, watching them be successful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how, how tight we were on stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, were you aware back then in 1999 that they were going to be maybe like you are now today? Come on, <laughs> don't say it. Actually, you know, well, one thing I did notice is that when I saw them play that night, there was something stuck out. There was something special. You know, I mean, the songs were being played on the radio in Canada. That was already happening. And they had this stage presence, you know. They've, I mean, everyone enjoyed the show and there was a buzz happening with the band, like, they were serious. And what do you think of, of their band? Of their band? Yeah, he's okay. What, New Big Shoes? <laughs> did you even watch it? I actually did watch, I did watch the band, I thought it was good. I yeah. mean, the so, the, some of the songs were, uh, I don't know, a little, uh, you know, I think it was on once, I can't remember if the songs were busy or what it was. We were pretty busy. Busy. Yeah, a lot but of drumming, a lot okay, of bass yeah, yeah, playing. Yeah. It was like, 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 like Earth, Yeah, kinda. it was like, you know, definitely, I, I think musically a lot more talented than we were. Like the, probably the band in general was, but but their songs were cooler. But uh, yeah, so where where we lack, we got to like we got to make up somewhere else. What can we? I mean, we can't dress as good either. We're, we're not as snappy dressers. <laughs> we so. had the shiny shirts, <laughs> blue, silver, shiny shirts. Yeah, I just had a button-up jean shirt. Red shirt. And I had a red shirt that yeah, time. Yeah, red shirt. Wow, he remembers my shirt. Yo, that's really good. Well, he sang a song by himself. He used to sing a song. You used to sing a song. What I still song? do once in a while. Super Bon Bon? What song was it? A song was called Super Bon Bon. We don't do it anymore, though. Okay. Yeah. And, um, well, when, uh, did you stay in touch with Chad, or? Not really. I, we kind of lost touch for a couple of years, and then his friend ended up watching Chad's house all the time, so I ended up getting in a band with this guy named Dave, and Dave would watch Chad's house when Chad was touring. So I ended up playing on Chad's drum set all the time, and that's how I got to know Chad again. And then I joined Three Doors Down, and I, we toured together, so that's how I really got to know them. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. And, and um, well, when did you really join? I mean, because you did an audition. Um, well, what, what happened with the previous drummer? Ah, um, just one of those things where you had to make a change. And uh, How come, music-wise or personally? Uh, a couple issues about that I guess but uh, we, we we made the change in January it would have been January yeah. at the beginning of recording this album so like just to the beginning of January I guess and that's when we started it was like you know that was our first time we hadn't even done a live gig together we were like jamming in the studio and doing some of the songs and writing some of the songs and we got out of the studio we were like Geez, I hope we play well together as a yeah, band. Seven months, <laughs> seven months making we never, the album, and then we never played with each other yet. We would know. we would put a riff up, and then he would, you know, he he would work out a part and play over top of it, and or he he get you know he get the idea done first, and he would play it, and then we layer stuff on. So it's like we never really all jammed at the same at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And well, wh how come it then 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 it then it worked out? How come it worked out? Yeah. Oh, he's not an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a big thing. No, it's it's cool. I mean, he fits he fits personality-wise with the band, uh, and like very talented drummer and very talented singer as well. So that adds another dynamic to the live shows. You've never ever told this stuff to me. No, I wouldn't no. either. I'm like one of those dads. <laughs> one of those dads. Uh, when you hit like about yeah, 85, yeah. no son. Real proud of you. Real proud. Real proud. Of you. Proud of you. you should have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 